Hi, we're back home and I'm going to be showing you all of the school supplies that I got. So here's the lovely backpack that I've had since seventh grade. It is Vera Bradley and it's honestly holding up great and I don't know, I feel like I used to go super like hardo every single school year and get all of this new supplies, supplies that I didn't even really need and never really touched throughout the school year. I just wanted to be that extra and I broke my mom's bank account every single year. So like, I don't know, I really don't find the need to do that anymore. Wow, we love character development, right? I really got to the point where I don't care that much. I'm just gonna get the stuff that I need and that's it. All right, so um, I have two bags of stuff right here. So pretty much this year, I'm trying to make my bag as light as I possibly can because the past couple years I've been breaking my back because of all the school supplies that I have inside of it. And this year especially, we're not allowed to have lockers just because of like Corona and everything. So I really have to try to make my bag as light as possible because I'm really not trying to self-inflict more back issues. I've already had enough back injuries and back problems. I don't need more. I just have a little composition notebook in here. This is super cute. It's just like, I don't know. Your typical composition notebook. It's pink. I kind of went for the like pastel color theme this year. They didn't send out school supply lists. I just got stuff that I thought I needed. That's normally how high school works at this point. Like, oh my God, this lovely little notebook for my science labs. So instead of getting a bunch of different notebooks, I'm going to try to do as much of my note taking digitally. But for when I'm just like scribbling down notes in class, what I'm gonna do, or like this is my plan, I have a one and a half inch white binder. Really cute. I had pretty much the same one last year. It was like a one inch, but I broke it. So um, I had to get a new one this year. So there's that. It's just literally a binder. Ouch, my elbow's cracked. To go inside of the binder, I got all these folders. I got six folders, one for each subject. We got a white one. A really pretty purple one. I love this one. Lagoon green minty pastel color. I don't know. This beautiful pink one. I've been obsessed with the color pink recently and I honestly kind of blame my friend Alexia for that. She's been obsessed with the color pink since like day one and I used to like be all about this color, you know, in my teen years. But now I'm really kind of adapting to this pink and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So um, thanks Lex. Another white one and this blue one. As you can see, this one doesn't really fit the color scheme as well, but I mean like it's gonna have to work. I'm pretty much going to shove all these folders inside of this binder and shove like the handouts from class in there or like the syllabuses. Or any important like papers from class or like tests, whatever. You get the point, you've been in school, you know how it works. And I'm going to shove some loose leaf paper in between each of the folders for their like designated subjects. So I'm gonna treat this binder with like all of the folders in it and loose leaf paper as my notebooks pretty much. Hopefully this is going to make my bag a lot lighter because I used to buy like a one subject notebook for every single class and I used to make my bag insanely heavy. And my notebooks would also start to break halfway throughout the year because the little like, uh, uh, the spiral things used to get caught in each other and it was a whole mess like I'm just not in the mood for that and I'm trying to make this year as easy as possible <laughs> Because you know senioritis and all also this paper is the best it has like the plastic seal on the end It's like the reinforced paper stuff so it doesn't rip as easily. I got a new pencil case I didn't really need this but I was a little bit concerned about my current pencil case breaking on me halfway throughout the year I have the same exact one. It's right here. As you can see she's quite chunky. Um the zipper I'm a little bit worried about the zipper breaking on me and um, I also broke off all of the little binder metal pieces Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. So I saw these jelly scissors. This is the most like unnecessary purchase of the day, of the year, of the century. Like, I did not need these. Look at them. The little handle feels all like jelly-like and fun. It's like, I'm so excited. Like I shouldn't be this excited. Once again, color pink. I've been obsessed with it recently. I'm going to try to redo my bedroom soon and I want the aesthetic to be like pink. So like, it's just my new obsession. <laughs> How ironic is it that you have to open up a scissor package with like scissors? They're always like sealed in with like heavy, heavy plastic. Like, geez, you really think I'm gonna steal the scissors? Honestly, I, I might, I might. These jelly scissors are pretty addicting. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, I love these. These are like my new obsession. The last couple things, I got the same exact stuff last year. We have two packs of Papermate mechanical pencils. These are my favorite ones. I've been using these since like seventh or eighth grade. I'm addicted. They're the best pencils out there. They're so high quality and they last me the whole year. They're definitely on the pricier side, but like in my opinion, they're worth it. So uh, do what you want with that information. I love these. Then I got these little like twist up whiteout packages. These work great. I love these so much because they're the only type of whiteout that doesn't get like the, the, 
string like caught on stuff. I don't know how to explain it. This wasn't really for school. This was more for just like me and I somehow finessed at Staples and got them on my own credit card. Post-it notes. I need more of these for my bedroom. I thought this color scheme was kind of interesting. It's kind of ugly, to be honest. Like, it kind of doesn't make sense. But I also thought it was kind of cute. So, oh, and they're sustainable. Okay, okay. I support it. And finally, I have these pens. So I went into Boston, like, two weeks ago, and they have a Muji store there, which is basically, like, a stationary place. And their store is super, like, professional and, like, well put together. It's very minimalistic, but also, like, very high quality, if that makes any sense. These pens, literally the best thing ever i'm pretty sure you can get these on amazon too they work so well like i'm addicted i've been using these for the past like two or three years and they're my favorite pens ever that's pretty much all the stuff that i got i hope that wasn't too boring okay that's all bye if you want to see what's in my pencil case you can just watch the what's in my backpack video from last year it's the same exact stuff so um not really gonna waste your time making another one of those so